Before we begin this, I just want to put a warning in the beginning. So, um, if you have like any PTSD with your family members, um, like because of abuse, mental abuse or physical abuse, doesn't matter. Just this might not be the video for you. I might see you in another one. I sure hope I do, but. I'd advise you to click off. Okay, um, I assume you've already clicked off, so let's start. Meet at York New City on September 1st. You yelled, along with Kilua, Gon, Kurapika, and Leorio. You all decided that you would meet there. You said your goodbyes to each other and went your separate ways. You took off to a place with Gon and Kilua called the Heavens Arena. Kilua said it was a place you could fight to earn money. He also said it would be good training for Gon until he'd fight Hezoka. Gon needed training. He was a weakling compared to Hezoka, but not to you. Kilua and Gon were way stronger. It was because of your past. You closed your eyes and you saw everything were playing in your mind. Huayin, you cannot be gay. This family is straight. There is no way we'd let a homo stay in this house. Your mother screamed at you right after she'd found out your secret. Your little brother found out first. You guess he told her and your father. Get out of this house. Pack up all of your stuff and go. We want nothing left of you. Your father shouted then beat you up while your mother led your little brother out of the room. Now, go get your stuff, you scum, your father said and threw you upstairs. You headed as fast as you could and packed up everything you could fit into a backpack. Then you tiptoed to your brother's room to say goodbye since he was the only one you loved in the house. You walked down the stairs to see your father smoking a cigarette at the dinner table. He started to walk toward you. He inked your arm and burned it. You yelped in pain. Bad idea. Your father always liked it when you were in pain. You got beat until you were blacked out. Then you were thrown out. You were sitting on a bench with Gon and Kilua. You felt something go down onto your leg again and again. You opened your eyes to see Kilua right in front of you. His face was painted with concern. Oyan, are you alright? You're crying, Kilua said softly as he quickly wiped the tears off your face. You blushed slightly at his actions and replied back to him. Yeah, Kilua, I'm alright. I was just thinking about my past. Um, why don't... We just find this place, okay? Kilua nodded in response, and you went to find the arena. Gon and Kilua were talking about the arena while you were thinking. Why do you blush at Kilua's contact? It's obvious now that you like him. You're so stupid. As a punishment, you took a pocket knife from your backpack and cut your wrist. You did a quiet yelp and put away the knife. So, you abused yourself as punishment, because when you did something bad and got caught, you were punished, just like in the flashback. So, you always thought after you did something bad or stupid, you'd be punished. Gon looked back at you, trying to find out where the yelp came from. You guess he didn't know it was you, so he shrugged his shoulders and went back to talking to Kilua. You sighed and thought some more. Should I confess my love to him? No, I can't. He'll hate me, and he won't be my friend anymore, and I'll be lonely. Screw it. I'm gonna do it. Kilo is such a nice guy. He won't be mad. You try to keep positive thoughts. It was working. Kind of. We're here. Kilo explained as you all walked into the tall building. Gon and Kilo checked in as he watched them. Gon looked at you confused. Aren't you signing in, Wayne? If you sign in, you get to fight. You replied back to him. No, I'm not here to fight. I'm here to watch you guys fight. 
Gon understood and went back to filling out the papers. Finally, Gon and Kilwa both advanced to the 100th floor. They were lucky because they got their own separate rooms. Once it was nightfall, you said goodbye to them and explained that you were going to leave to go for a hotel for the night. You started to walk away until Kilwa grabbed your hand and said, Don't waste your money on a hotel. You can stay with me. Really? Yeah, uh, come on. Kilwa held your hand until you got back to his room. You looked back down at the hallway to see that Gon had left. Now it was you and the guy you liked, all alone. Kilwa's room had everything a person would need. A queen-sized bed, a bathroom, a kitchen. The room was probably better than any hotel room you would have went to. So, Wayne, do you want to watch any TV or want to lie down? Maybe you want to eat something? Kilwa asked. Um, I'll just lie down and go to sleep. You started walking toward the couch. When Kilwa stopped you and said, uh, wh Where are you going? You can sleep with me. You blushed and nodded. Kilwa offered you to sleep with him? This was such a nice dream. You pinched yourself to see if you were actually dreaming. Nope, still awake. You went to the bed first and Kilwa followed. When you were both on the bed, you looked at each other. You couldn't take it anymore. You grabbed his shirt and pulled Kilwa's lips onto yours. He was in shock for a few seconds before he melted into the kiss. I love you, Kilwa. I love you too, Wayan.